This video will show you how to draw and shade an American flag using color pencil blending. For this project, you will need a picture of an American flag, colored pencils, white drawing paper, and a pencil sharpener. We're going to begin by setting up our drawing area. Take your 6 by 8 inch tracer, center it on your white drawing paper, and trace around the outside. This will give you that 6 by 8 inch area that we're then going to recreate the American flag inside of. Next, we're going to be creating a basic grid that's going to help you in the drawing process of your flag. So you're going to take your small flag and you're going to bend it in half two times, side to side and top to bottom. By creating these creases on your image, you have now split your image into four equal parts, putting a vertical line down through the center and a horizontal line through the middle. We're now going to give ourselves the same grid lines in our rectangular drawing area. Use a ruler to find the midpoint of both the width and the height and draw a vertical and horizontal line splitting your area into four equal quadrants. The grid lines on both your American flag and your drawing area should look exactly the same. Use the grid lines to help you draw the basic shapes of your American flag. So the American flag is going to be just a series of lines for the stripes and star shapes for the stars. So I'm starting with the major line that runs diagonally across my drawing, which is that blue line that separates the blue area of the flag from the stripes. This helps me set up my drawing and divides the area basically into two areas. Now I can go in and start adding more detail. You'll see me keep my left hand on the actual picture of the American flag as my right hand is doing the drawing. And this also helps me like pinpoint where exactly I need to draw my lines. So the grid lines are going to help you understand where your lines stop and start as you go and complete the sketch of the flag. Remember to sketch lightly and if you mess up, just erase and adjust. The stars are probably the trickiest part of the sketch. So what I do is kind of just take them as um, five triangles that are connected together and just do one triangle at a time, kind of meeting in the base. Once your basic sketch is complete, you're gonna go in and do your contour value map. This is where you're mapping out all of your values. So you'll see that I'm drawing on the shape of what those darker values look like inside of each of the stripes. This helps me understand when I start to shade where my darkest values are, where my lightest values are, and where my highlight is. It's extremely helpful when you begin to shade, so make sure you do it. The last step before we start to color pencil shade is to make sure you erase your grid lines. You can also lightly erase your actual lines of like your stars and your stripes. Ultimately, we don't really want the graphite and the color pencil to blend together. So if you erase your pencil line just enough so you can still see the shadow underneath that's on the page, your color pencil work will look better in the long run. You just don't want to erase it so you can't totally see your drawing. That would be um, <laughs> against kind of everything we've done. So just erase it a little bit. So choose an area that looks interesting to you on your flag and begin shading. In the demonstration video, I'll do the entire blue area first um, and then work to the stripes and then go back in and start detailing the stars. But you can start anywhere you want to, in the red or the white of the stripes or in the blue area. It's really just a personal preference. Hopefully before completing this video, you've already watched and followed along with my previous video on color pencil blending demonstration, where I teach how to blend with color complements. Um, and so you're gonna take all the knowledge you learned in that preparatory video and now bring it into, um, into this American flag. Throughout the video, you'll see that I'm working in layers. So applying color pencil softly to begin, 
um, layering the color complement on top of one another. In this case, I would be going over the blue with the orange. This is gonna help the blue get really dark um, and smoky in those like deep, dark blue areas. You'll also probably notice that I'm experimenting and blending like different blues together. Um, there is no like one set of way you have to blend colors or mix colors. Part of the fun of being an artist and working on artworks is that every artist has like a different application of color mixing and a different application of the color pencil. So if you have a color pencil set that has multiple different blues, um, experiment with them and kind of mix them together and see like what kind of combination looks really good in your opinion for your artwork. You'll also notice that I'm going much brighter in the highlighted area of my American flag. Um, and it's also really important to note that it is totally fine and encouraged to adjust your artwork so that it doesn't look exactly like the picture. A lot of times students will always kind of go back to um, a reasoning of making artistic decisions because that's what the picture looks like if they're using a reference picture. Remember that the picture is just there for a reference. It's not there to be copied exactly. If we wanted an exact copy of the picture, we would have just kept the photograph, right? So um, you can adjust and brighten up some of the areas in your flag to make it look um, the way you want it to. So in this case, you'll see I'm gonna make the mid part of that American flag a lot brighter just because I like um, more of a high contrast and kind of like a bright versus dark look in my artwork and I think it helps it pop and also look more three-dimensional. So don't be scared of experimenting in that way also um, and just have some fun with it. So now I'm going to take a look at doing my red stripes. What's really going to help make this look more realistic is by getting that kind of undulation in the fabric, which um, is created by the highlights and the shadows. So my contour value map is really going to help me kind of know where those go, where my different values go. So I'm going to use the same methods I did in my practice work um, and use my complementary colors of mixing red and green together for my really deep shadows. Where the fabric comes up and catches the light, I'm gonna be mixing the red and the white together to give it a nice kind of brighter highlight at the top. And remember, you're working in layers, so you're not pressing down really hard with the pencil immediately. So it's light layer first, go on top with some green, light layer of red, another layer of green, more red, maybe some white in the highlighted areas, and it's kind of a ping-ponging back and forth, back and forth. Um, another tip that I find really helpful, especially with my color pencil work, is to keep your pencil tips nice and sharp. So you don't see me sharpening my pencil a lot in the video, but I like cropped out those uh, little cuts, but I really, really like a nice sharp pencil point, so that might help you in your own work also. All right, everybody, we're on the home stretch with our American flag drawing. So on to the white areas, which would be my white stripes and my stars. You can see how I've started to kind of go in with a cream pencil. So in the little picture, my stripes and my stars are more white, but I want to give my flag more of kind of like a vintagey old feel. So I am using a cream um, to do like a base layer. In the shadows of the white stripes is a little bit tricky. So I'm using a light blue to go in with my shadows and then a gray. If you're at home and you don't have a light blue pencil or you don't have a cream, you can use like a graphite pencil to do um, your white stripes. Um, so experiment with what you have. And for my final details, I'm gonna go into my stars. You can see I've already added some dimension with the cream and the gray pencil. And now with a nice sharp point, I'm going into the edges and just um, adding some of that stitching to make it as realistic as possible. And there you have it everyone, an American flag drawing done in color pencil blending using color complements and lots and lots of layers. Can't wait to see your work and see you next time.